Let's see here. Did you enjoy that bottle of water in the beginning of the film? <laughs> I didn't realize I had my camera hang, hanging over. Well, I'm set up now a little bit early, so we're going to pass some time uh, while uh, Mr. Freddy organizes, uh, organizes getting us connected up into the system uh, on the uh, Quark Body, Mind, Spirit. So hello, everybody in Quark. Well, I'm sure there's a lot more people from everywhere else, too, but this is primarily for the Quark people the, and the Quark event, okay? Everybody's here, so that's great. So lovely to see. I see two people here. Let's see. Two people. Okay. And two views, anyway. So bottom line is, is in about four minutes, uh, well, actually, five minutes, we're going to start past life, a talk on past life regression. So I'm sure lots of you have uh, known about past life regression or heard about it at least. I'm going to have a drink before we start. <laughs> so this is about being connected up and letting Freddie get us uh, connected into the live feed. So this will go out live. It'll also be up on the website of the Body, Mind, Spirit, Body, Mind, Spirit, Cork, Cork Body, Mind, Spirit. Hey, Carl, <laughs> we're getting ready to do some past life regression talk. I'm, I'm live here now for a few minutes so that uh, Freddie can hook us into the main event on the, on the page that will reach a whole bunch of people. So we're just, I, I kill about five minutes and then we go ahead and get started. So we're in the killing mode here. I thought that was you. I, I didn't press it to see, but there he is. So anyway, yeah, lots of people have lots of interest in past life regression. Some are curious, some just wonder. So if you have, and some, some have a specific idea in mind, whether it's a specific idea of who they were or a specific idea of why is this here? Why do I have this? And we'll talk lots about that today. Um, so if you are listening and at this moment you have some questions or something you've wondered about, just pop it in there and we'll, we'll have a look. If you're just curious or if you have a specific reason for being interested or wanting to hear about past lives, regressions. Um, they're brilliant stuff. They're fun. Uh, they can be also eye-opening. They can be heartbreaking. They can be heart-rendering. Um, they can be fun. Uh, I've done all kinds, and they all, each one has a different tone or timber to it, depending on what exactly we're looking for, what exactly we're doing. Three minutes till we go live. Da, 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 da. Don't mind me, I'm just a little nuts today. <laughs> so, And I'm really excited because we're going to be partnering up with the uh, Irish Hypno, uh, excuse me, Institute of Clinical Hypnotherapy teaching organization where I uh, learned to be a hypnotist and am now a, uh, hip, uh, a clinic and an instructor with the Institute of Clinical Hypnotherapy. They are top of the line, the best hypno hypnosis education you can get that I'm aware of. We'll put it that way. I, I don't know all of them, but I know, I know if you want to be the best hypnotist there is, this is where you want to go. Um, let's see, two minutes. Here we go. Let's see. So we're just, we can all hand dance now. Everybody hand dance for about two minutes before we go live. I hope that he cuts all this stuff off the front <laughs> when he posts this. <laughs> but everybody, if people who know me are on this, they know I'm just a nut, so it's okay. Uh, two minutes and we're going to go live. That way I know we're actually on the site. This is what we're doing here is killing just a tiny bit of time. He needs about five minutes to be able to get us, pick up this broadcast and put it onto the, uh, event page. There's Freddie. Hi, Freddie. <laughs> so, uh, so that's what we're doing. Just killing a bit of time and I'm having my lovely little afternoon drink. It's, it's plain. Don't worry. There's nothing in it. 
just in case anybody thought I had to be high to talk about past life regression. But uh, I don't, so that's okay. Thank you, Freddie. Okay, so Freddie says we are connected. So guess what? I'm going to give a 30 seconds. It looks like we got 30 seconds, and we're going to go start live with past life regression. And again, as you're listening, if you're listening, if you have a particular interest or you're curious or you want to know more about who you were or maybe about an event that keeps recurring in your life, just post us a little note there and I'll be glad to answer everything for you. All right. I think we're getting very, very close now. Very, very close. So that the people who are coming at 1.30, we're going to be there. And we're going to get there. So anyway... So I, but I always like talking this little bit of time right before, before we get started, because it, it's cool. Okay. Hi, everybody. First, I want to thank you for uh, listening to the replay. If you're listening to the replay, thank you so much for having a listen. My name is Mary Kay Anderson. I am a retired nurse who decided that uh, there was way more to getting people well than what I was doing in a hospital setting. And because of that, I became an energy therapist. Uh, I learned massage therapy. I settled down with a whole lot of other stuff, intuitive work, you name it, I've done it. However, I landed in hypnosis because hypnosis puts all of the pieces together and within, hello, Evelina. And uh, because in the hypnosis has a piece that is discovered called past life regression. Now, past life regression can be attained a lot of ways. There's a lot of ways to do it, and we'll talk about a few. But for me and the work I do, for me and the work I do, it was absolutely the best way, hypnosis, to get people to regress and to be able to work with them under trance to help them clear, either explore Uh, that past life or clear up a concept or feeling that they were a certain person or type in a past life or that they have a particular issue or problem that needs to be cleared up and they want to do it through past lives. So uh, before we start, I will tell you I was brought kicking and screaming into past life regression. Unfortunately, usually what happens is, is that the things are the absolute best for me the best things in my life, uh, I'm a bit resistant. <laughs> Don't ask me why. However, what I have found since I've started teaching past life regression and working uh, very deeply in the subject is that uh, I don't know everything, that's for sure. And that my desire to help people is was like, no, I want to help people in the present. I want to help them with their problems today. That'll all work itself out in my mind, right? That's what I thought. But what I've learned through all this is that two things. Number one, healing or solving of situation can be as simple as snapping your fingers. It is. We've had in the courses and classes that I've taught, we have had in at least one spontaneous remission of a emotional issue, of a physical issue, of a thought, whatever. We've had at least one in every class I've taught where the, per- the person, but when they left, were absolutely sorted. So that was the first thing. The second thing is, is that some people can't be helped in the present. They are so stuck and so rooted to the energy that is, that is attached to that past life that they can't get beyond that. They just can't. So these are the things I've learned in my journey with past life regression. And I was curious. I was a curious soul. And when I first started doing past life regression, I did it for curiosity's sake. And let's see if there's something that can help me with my weight issue. Yay, team. Well, I had great regression. And it was amazing because I, uh, now this was before I was really involved with it. But I would like see things and feel things. And I was so engrossed in the process that was happening. And it was just, oh, it was an experience for me. And I I still have a tape. I'm going to play that for somebody, for y'all someday, of the actual session that I had. 
uh, in which we discovered whole lots of things about myself that we'll go into another time. I'll do a whole live on that one day. But past life regression is an absolute beautiful tool that can help people resolve certain issues and problems in their life that they don't feel they can resolve in any other way. So the question I get the most is, is it real? I don't know. How about that? I don't know. And do you know what? I don't care if it's real or not. How about that one? Because the bottom line is this. The reality is in using the therapeutics to help the person heal. I only say I don't know because I've only had my experiences. I've never, I don't have any solid proof that it's real. I have uh, quantum physics sort of illusions that it could be real, but I don't know. And the purpose of me teaching past life regression or working with people with past life regression, my purpose is not to make anybody believe anything or think that this is the way, only way there is, because that's all lie. None of, it, none of that is true, because there are other ways. There are, uh, I, the reality of it is your reality and my reality. The only thing that I want to get across in when I teach past life regression, when I do that, I want to get across that this is a beautiful therapy that can help people that are ultimately very, very stuck and have tried anything and everything and just can't seem to get past that point. So now if we go ahead and we look at energy and any things that you have, hi everybody. Uh, lovely to see all of you. Uh, any questions that, I, that are there, I will go back and I will answer questions. I, I just won't be doing it through the broadcast, but I will go back to anything that's been posted and I will, go give que I will answer questions. Okay? So the bottom line with past life regression is this. What we, we look at ourselves as a human, a physical being, but we also have that soul or energy part of us. And this is how I look at this whole thing as energy. Our energy fills our body. Our energy is in our body. Some people call that spirit. Some call it soul. Whatever you call it, that's what it is because it's yours and it is energy. Okay? So when we pass, when, we, when our physical body stops and we die, what happens to the energy that's there? Well, law of, thermo, of uh, con, uh, conservation of energy says that energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be transformed. So with that in mind, then what, ha what we have to think is, is that energy that was you has to be transformed into an energy somewhere, into whatever it wants to be, wherever it wants to go. So we have an energy transformation that starts. The interesting part is, is that things that you have learned in this life are all in that what I call soul DNA. We have soul DNA. In other words, lessons that you've learned, lessons that you haven't learned, all set into the soul. And when the soul goes, it takes all of that information with it as far as energy, because that's an energy that that energy of the soul took on. So if it's a lesson you've learned, then what you're going to have is you're going to have energy lines that are in line. They're in good form. They're in good space. Great stuff means probably not going to be a problem thereafter. However, if it is a lesson that you have not learned and it has caused you a problem, then that energy is going to be a, what I call a skew. It could go diagonal. I've seen so many people with diagonal slashes across their torso energetically. Um, you may be missing, uh, like your head might not be connected to your neck energetically. Your, excuse me, to your body energetically. There may be a big space in that, in the head where, in the neck where I, it's just not connected to the body. So your head's up here doing one thing and your body's down here doing another. So I see lots of different ways that these, what I call energy scars, are transposed onto the, onto the energy system that I see when I look at people. Now, so, and then we're going to get to a little subject here really quick. And people talk about karma. It's my karma. I must do this. And I get so agitated when I hear that. 
I just get agitated. Do you know what? Want to know why? I get agitated because that is a lie. Karma doesn't mean you have to do this. Karma means you've got to change this. Karma is, oh my God, that is an unlearned lesson. I didn't learn that in that other life, so now I've got to learn it here. I don't have to go through this. I have to change this. That's what karma is. It's about getting a cue that there's something in you that needs to be changed. Okay? And so from that, from that, we can see when people start having these repetitive patterns, repetitive patterns, that's quote karma or unsolved or unlearned lessons. That that's in my view and all the research I've done and the work that I've done, that's how it, I see it and how it works. Now, can it be removed? Of course it can. Of course it can. My, my most comfortable phrase that I say, especially I have clients that come in and they're desperate, they're, they're sad and they're stuck and they don't know what way to turn. Maybe they've had abuse in their life. Maybe they've been victims of, of natural disasters. Maybe they just don't feel good enough or maybe they just don't feel loved. But the bottom line is, is what I tell them. It's all fixable. We just have to find the ways to fix it. Everything is fixable. We just have to find the way that works for you to fix that. So that's, and I believe that wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly. If, if you give me 100% and I give you 100%, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. it. may take a little time, but we will fix it. And that, I believe, with all my heart and all my soul. Okay. So why do we use past life regression? We use past life regression to heal an old pattern that has been carried for centuries, maybe. Centuries upon centuries upon centuries. And it's been, been held in there and, and everything. So the bottom line is, is that it has to be healed. It has to be looked at. It has to be taken care of. So in past life regression, what we do is we take you back to that space and place where this all started if we're looking on solving a problem. So if we're going to solve that problem, we go back to that space and place, we're going to connect using an emotion, okay? Because emotion is what it's all about. Emotion is the connector to everything. Once we bring up the emotion that's giving you the trouble, then we have a clear, it's like that emotion makes a bridge so that we can go back to where it began. Now I also get, well, what happens? What if I don't come back? What, what if I never, what if I never, what if I stay? I said, sweetheart, I've not lost anybody yet. Everybody's always come back. Everybody has always come back. So a lot of people also ask questions like, well, we talked about, is it real? I can't tell you that it's real or not real because I have no actual proof. I have investig invest investigatory information. And I also have my own experiences that say it's as real as I can imagine it. It's as real as it can happen. And I'm going to tell you here in just a few minutes some things that have happened in some of the courses that I've worked on. But past life regression, to me, it's like, it's like people use it as the last chance hotel sometimes. Sometimes it's the last thing that they try to, in order to solve a situation or a problem. So you ask what kind of things can be solved? Well, um, everything, emotional, physical, mental, all sorts of things can be solved. Now, I'll give you a couple uh, examples. Um, I had a experience where I had a person, now I'm going to tell you, this is a funny one, okay? This person had a feeling of when she would feel like she was closed in, she says, I've got to get out of here. i got to get out of here. And that was her, she used a phrase. Now, the ways we can get to past lives are using phrases that are very common that we repeat. Uh, that's a technique that you can use through dreams, through meditation, uh, and through hypnosis, those are the most prominent ways that you can um, access past lives. So with her, I was demonstrating the using the idiom or the phrase to get back there. So I had her, had her sitting in the chair and got her into a trance. And then I asked her, I said, so tell me where you are and where you're going. 
and she starts moving her arms and her shoulders and she says, I can't move. I got to get out of here. I said, okay, well, where are you? So we went through the whole thing and here she was, she was captured in a castle and she knew that they were going to come in and they were going to kill her. I said, okay, so what do you need to do? So I got to get out of here. I said, okay. Now in my mind, I'm thinking she'll probably, you know, subdue the guard, take his sword. You know, I, I can think ahead that way, but it taught me to never suppose I know what the heck they're going to do because she goes, she says, I have knives. Now, where did they come from? I don't know. How did it happen? I don't know, but she had knives. And so, and so she went and she, I said, well, do what you have to do. Now, again, I can't dictate. I'm not going to dictate what you do. I'm going to tell you, you do what you need to do. What do you need to do? How do you need it? So it's all about guiding you through the process of resolving the issue that has been brought up. For her, it was entrapment. And so everywhere we went, so she, and now, and this is the, fun, this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. And, and it was in a regression and it was all I could do not to burst out laughing because it was serious, but it was funny. And she was there. All right. I said, do what you have to. So she starts going, oh, 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 oh. And then she goes, and, and then she goes, bah, bah, bah. and she was going like this and her whole body was shaken. So what does that tell us? That tells us there's also that energy stored within the body. So now we have a mind-body connection that is being cleared. So it wasn't just what's in the mind. It's what's in the body as well that begins to need to be cleared. So there's, there's again, mind-body, mental, emotional, all sorts of things that can happen and be happening. I've had another person who was afraid of cats. Afraid of cats. And in the group regression, in the group regression, we went ahead and uh, I ended the regression. And when I ended the regression, then uh, when I ended it, something happened. Hold on. My mind just slipped. When I ended the regression, <laughs> I'm having a good time here. When I ended the regression, um, I called everybody back. And we were going around seeing what was going on with everybody. And with this particular person, they said they were facing down a lion. And I said, well, what happened? Well, you called me back. I left. I said, okay. So what I did was, now they'd been there, so they knew how to get back. Clad them, closed their eyes. We counted them back. And I said, now you're right back there looking at this lion. I said, what's going on? And they said, well, they're walking away. It's walking away. I'm seeing its bum. It's going in the distance. I said, okay, that's great. So we finished up, and at the end of the course of the day, she came to me, and she said, do you know what? She said, I think I'm afraid, been afraid of cats. She said, but I actually think I'm going to go get a kitten. And I said, well, okay. I said, do you really feel good about that? She says, I want to. I want to at least touch one. I said, oh, that's great. And when I got back with her later in the week, she actually had brought a kitten home. <laughs> so she got over her fear of cats just in a group regression with just the sighting and then going back and watching it walk away. So it's, sometimes it can be that simple. Sometimes it's a little more difficult, but that's, that's the whole thing is finding the triggers and finding the things that need to be sorted. So that person can go ahead and get the results that they're looking for. Now I have to say, I'm always been the skeptic. Okay. When I first started talking about past life regression, I'm like, yeah, 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 it's not real. It can't be real, okay? But I saw a, I saw a um, YouTube video, and actually I had read about it in a couple other places, but I'd seen it, and the bottom line was this. There was a little young boy who, he was like a toddler going around talking about World War II airplanes. And he could talk about them, speak about them. And as he got older, he started talking about people that he didn't know. He started having bad dreams and all of these things. And it ended up, and I'm not going to tell you the whole story because um, I have, I have uh, uh, that's one of my ace in the hole cards here. So, but the whole, but the bottom line was he ended up, the soul of the fi a fighter pilot from World War II was in that boy. That was part of him. And uh, the parents worked long and hard to figure out how to help him. And they did. So it was brilliant. But uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell you more about that another time. 
So anyway, so that's how things work. And again, it doesn't work the same way for everybody. Everybody gets different results. And um, we may have to do different things to get different results. So the bottom line is, even today, you could even go home tonight. Or if you're home, I guess we're all home, aren't we? You could go home. You could go to bed tonight. And you could, in your mind, ask to be shown a past life regression. I mean, a past life. You could ask to be taken to a past life. You can access that just by deep breathing and beginning to dream. Okay? Dream is one of the number one ways. I'm, I'm sure all of you have had kind of dreams that seem real, but they seem kind of old and kind of weird. Those can be past lives that you are experiencing in the dream state. So we've talked about some experiences. We had another person who had a back problem that was cured after they had um, had a regression with me. And, and it wasn't a, it was even, it was again doing a demonstration. We've gotten rid of fear of spiders in a demonstration. There's all sorts of things that can be done. Excuse me. All sorts of things that can be done. But the bottom line is there's always a solution. Somewhere, somehow, there is a solution for the problems that you think are impossible to solve or that you've had no problems, I mean, excuse me, no luck or no, no uh, positive uh, time to resolve. Everything is fixable. You just have to find the right way, the right key, the right, the right everything. And that comes with doing regression. Now, past life regression is safe. It is not dangerous. Um, I had one instance in one of the early, early classes where this woman started talking in some language. I do not know what she was speaking. I couldn't understand a word she was saying. And luckily I had somebody with me that day and they were there helping her and, and not really helping her, but just allowing her to go through it and reassuring her more than anything while I carried on the rest of the regret. We were in a group regression. And afterwards, she sent me a note and she said, Mary, I really don't understand what happened today. She said, I just don't understand. She said, but I know one thing. I am no longer afraid. I'm not afraid. And that, again, that was probably one of the first ones that we ever had in a class that began to have an experience that changed something for that person. So past life regression is an, a beautiful tool it's um, all about you. It's all about helping you uncover or change patterns that you need to be changing. Okay? So what I'd like to say to you now is, is that do, are you interested in past life regression? Are you interested in having a regression? Would you like to learn how to do regression, uh, past life regression? There's lots of things that we can do, you can do with this. Now, if you're interested in a regression that you want your own regression, I'm going to, I'll do a deal for you. And in order to get that deal, what I need you to do is to uh, put down here in the, in the uh, video, put, I saw you. And when I see that, I know that you've been on this video. Okay. And then we'll get in touch and we'll arrange for you uh, a regression, a past life regression at a discount, okay? If you're interested in past life regression, but maybe you don't want to get your own private regression, then on April 17th and 18th, I'm going to be teaching an online introduction to past life regression, which is going to cover some of the things we covered here, but definitely not all of it. We have two days worth of a wealth of information that to help you. And in that, yes, we can still... Even on Zoom, we can do demos. We can have people working together. Uh, there's lots of energy exercises that we're going to do to kind of help sharpen your, your, um, your intuitiveness so that when we actually get you in a regression, that you're able to engage with it at a, on, a, on a deeper level. We're also, excuse me, we're also going to do two group regressions throughout the course. One of them will be just what we call general regression, where we regress you back and you'll sort of go wherever you want to go and see what's going on. It's kind of like a curious one. Then we will do what we call targeted, which is one where we're going to ask you to 
connect to a particular emotion, idea, problem, whatever it is. And then we'll regress you back to see where that takes you and what is happening and how did this all begin. So we will do two regressions. You're going to get lots of little gifts at the end that are going to help you maybe to be able to do some regressions uh, at home yourself, whether it's through um, a trance, putting yourself in trance or doing a uh, or dreaming uh, during a dream journal, all sorts of lovely ways that you can engage with accessing your past lives. Uh, excuse me. So again, if you want your own private regression, put put on this seed, put, excuse me, put on this video, I saw you. Or if you, if you PM me, put, I saw you. That way I know you've been on this video and we'll make an arrangement. Um, if perhaps you're not that interested, then we do have the Past Life Regression course April 17th, 18th. It's going to be online. And if you go to the... Um, Excuse me. If you go to the paid online courses section on uh, the uh, main event page here, then you will find a link to where you can get tickets for the past life regression. So I'm going to go over here and just see if there's any quick questions. I want to say hi to everybody. Carmel, Jella, Judy, um, lots of folks. And uh, Elaine, lovely to see you. Marie, Evelina, and it's lovely to see all of you. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today. Um, again, PM me if you have any questions that I haven't covered, anything that you'd like to know. And past life regret, hypnosis is, well, hypnosis is nothing more, nothing more than deep relaxation with positive suggestion. And when we do regression, it's going to be deep relaxation we're going to get you deeply relaxed so that you can engage more and then we're going to give you suggestions that you are going back to another life so that you can excuse me so that you can access that past life now a lot of people there's a lot of information out there in which they say what well, these are all just anomalies of the brain and it can be deja vu Deja vu is one of the things that people say, oh, that has to be a past life because I've experienced this before. But in reality, deja vu is French for seen again. Okay, deja vu, seen again. And could it be a past life? Well, if you have been in a past life and you've had that experience, then that experience is in your soul DNA, which connects to your cellular DNA. And then poof, you have that experience. So that is deja vu that how it work, can work. However, there is an anomaly with the brain that there are things that as we experience them or notice them or whatever, they bypass the conscious mind. So it's not a conscious connection that we're making. And that information or experience bypasses the conscious mind. And then we'll go into the subconscious and become a memory okay it becomes it bypasses consciousness and becomes a memory so that when you experience it it feels as if you have ex had it before now which is it that's up for you to decide and that's the one thing I want you all to know it's not what I know it's not what I do it's not how I direct you I'm there as a guide to help you get the best and the most out of the situation so I hope to see uh, or hear from each of you uh, would love to see you in the class in April. Uh, would love to give you your own, uh, do a, your own regression with you. Um, and you can follow me on Vibrational Insti Vibe Institute on uh, Facebook. That's where I am. And uh, I think that's all I've got for you guys. So listen, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for listening today. And I hope to talk to you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>